Hey, what's up, you two? It's, it's Matt and Marco from the Glow Bros. Coming to you guys with a uh, a two part tutorial today. Um, not two parts where it's going to be two different videos, but I'm going to be doing uh, two different things in this one video. Uh, so for this video, I'm going to be using um, my Chris Bryant Pro Preferred um, as the example glove. It's going to be uh, loosening and tightening the fingers. I'm going to tighten the fingers up super tight. And now I'm going to loosen them up even actually wider than this because I decided I'm going to go a little bit wider on this thing. So, uh, if you see Clinton, he's just over here just chewing his tennis ball if you see his, his ass or something. Um, he just wants to be in the video. He wants to be uh, famous, even though we're the farthest thing from famous. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let's get into it. So, uh, first thing that you're going to want to do is uh, I always just loosen this knot. That was just something that I like to do. You probably should have had it undone before the video, but yeah. <laughs> Mitch. <laughs> All right. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to actually want to start and get up right in here. Uh, I'm going to grab this bottom lace and uh, pull it up tight and try to do it the best we can, guys. This is not a easy camera work right here. Uh, so from right there, you're going to want to come up and follow the pattern. This lace comes right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get back here. And um, pull it up. Uh, you're going to need a lacing tool or a screwdriver. Something you can go to buy this at Dick's. Uh, it actually comes with lace with it. And it's like six or seven bucks. Uh, it's you really not a lot of money. You need a pencil. Yeah, you can use a pencil, a screwdriver, a knife. Um, like a butter knife, not like a, a hunting knife or like a, a steak knife. And then uh, you're going to come in follow this on the higher inner one. You're gonna tell it, pull this right here, nice and tight. You're gonna come right here, this little back slot. Tighten this up. It's very hard to do, guys, um, and like show it. So like, really props to guys like Dirty Thirty who like do this, like all the time in videos. Then you're gonna want to come down here, bottom knot, pull this one up nice and tight. I guess I didn't do that one very tight. It doesn't want to stay tight. There we go. Look, there's like when you guys really tighten a glove, you're gonna realize how much extra slack you really have in a glove. Um, so you're just gonna keep pulling that out even more. Um, so you're gonna come up top again. Get rid of all that excess. It's really tough, guys. <laughs> then after you go up there, you're gonna come to this top inner. Pull that through, nice and tight. Then right back to the middle, on the lower. You don't wanna really come in there and get it and pull with the angle that you're gonna be doing it on. So I like to put my thumb here and pull like this. So this is obviously the way I'm gonna be pulling. Um, and then from there, tighten that up a little bit. Come up here, it's gonna be the lower one. And get a nice little tug on it. See how much excess is. And from there, that's it. Uh, as you guys can tell, what the fingers look like now. So much tighter, I get all this extra excess. Then all I would do is come down, come all the way down. If you don't know how to tie knots, Google it. Then you come in here. I like to leave, um, a little bit, not too much, as you can see, a little bit of excess right here. And then uh, if you want this to stay straight after you tighten it, uh, just get some water, get it up to like 150 degrees, dip it in there, and you can like tape it down like this. Um, and then it'll stay uh, flappy. So then you can come in, it makes the glove a lot tighter. Uh, the fingers obviously are going to be a lot tighter because it's uh, has a lot less movement in it. There's just no glove in that video. Yeah. He just is the worst to, like, cameraman. Show you. you can show me. People have seen my dumb face before. Um, you, so, yeah. Uh, I'm now going to come in and do the complete opposite of that. And that's loosening it. Um, Sorry, so I'm going to come in again. Obviously, unknot it. Uh, this one's a little bit more tricky how to unlace it because you're not exactly sure how wide you want to get your fingers. What I do is, I'm gonna come and show you the way I like to do it. I'm gonna come in and uh, come right here. I'm gonna pull a bunch of excess lace out, a bunch of it. 
I'm going to tie a weak knot right here so I don't over pull it and I run out with, I don't have enough to tie a knot and that really sucks. So I come in, I'll tie a loose knot um, so I can't over pull what I have. So I'm coming here, I'm going to loosen this up, pull it a little bit, give it a nice little tug. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it this way. Now see, when I'm tightening, I was pulling it like this. Now when I'm loosening it, I'm going to pull it like this. So I'm going to pull to leave it a little loose uh, obviously that's what I'm trying to do here I'm trying to loosen up the fingers so I'm gonna pull this open now nice and wide so from now here this is obviously a big stretch I'm not trying to get something that big now I'm gonna be going a little bit smaller than this so I'm gonna come in try to get it the way I like it uh, you don't want to leave this too loose um, so I'm gonna come in here and leave this that's the length that I really like that at actually a little bit more um, and this is something you can definitely play around with to find uh, the exact way that you like your glove stretched out. Um, so from there, got this right there. That's good. So I'm going to come in now. Take all this excess lace. Got this nice and snug. This one's good here. I'm going to do is pull up top. Pull that through. That's fine. Now I got this down here that's going to connect to this obviously so I come here and get this how I like it tighten this up now all right I'm gonna go over a little bit more of a stretch probably about right there is where I want to go I'm gonna start pulling this through now I'm gonna keep pulling more through. I always do it in like little parts so I don't overdo it. So now to me, that's the stretch I'm trying to create is about this. Uh, it's about a little bit more than um, the tip of my finger and that's exactly where I'm trying to get that nice tug from. Um, so that's good for now. I'm gonna come in, now I can fully uh, pull this through. Now you're gonna always wanna make these tight even when you loosen the fingers. It's something you're gonna always wanna make super tight to the glove. Now, you can come in even more, loosen up these fingers. I like to do it with my finger, it's just something I like to do. So, I'm gonna come in here now. Uh, that's probably where I wanna go with the finger. I don't know why I just said that with an accent, that was awkward. Um, I'm gonna pull that through now. All right, good, I got that little pull there now. I'm gonna come up. What's up? Oh, Mark wants me to speed up the video. Um, it's hard to speed up the video, guys. I'm trying to like be very informative here. This is not a fast process. You could tell. I really wanna get behind that lace. Let me pull that shit out of there. Another accident. What? I'm gonna go back again. I'm gonna tighten this up again. That's good, that's exactly where I wanted actually. That's perfect. Through there. You might have to watch this video once or twice to uh, completely understand it and once it jumps into the camera. Um, cool, even you better. So you're gonna wanna come back in here now and I'm gonna tighten this one up. Pull this through. Got a nice little stretch going. You can tell this is how I like it. I'm actually probably going to go back and give myself a little bit more room in here. Uh, did that one a little bit tighter than I expected it to be. Um, I'm going to go back, steal some slack from like right here. Like this is not what I like. I don't like to do it super big like this. Um, so I'm going to come back. I'm going to steal some slack from that. Like that. I'm gonna take it from right here now. That's better though, from what it was. Oh, there we go. Boom goes the dynamite. I'm just tighten that knot real quick. Tighten this, make it a little bit more uniform. Oh yeah. So now if you have any excess, you see how you have a little bit too much excess of anything. Uh, you can go back, tighten it through, and then leave it. 
But this is how I think I'm gonna leave it. I think this looks really nice. Let me just pull this, I tugged it by accident. Here we go. <coughs> Holy voice crack, Batman. <laughs> <coughs> wow, I think I'm at puberty now. Holy smokes. That was brutal. But that's what it is, guys. So gain a little bit more. That's what I'm looking for. Um, don't just immediately get a glove and uh, loosen the fingers. I'm not a huge fan of that. Like, stretch them out like super wide. Um, I like it just about here. So then the more I um, keep playing catch with it, I'm going to be rolling it and breaking it in more. Um, uh, excuse me, it's going to get a bit more of a natural stretch to it. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you did, give us a nice uh, like and a subscribe if you don't already. Try not uh, to keep like excess loop like there. Like you don't want that shit hanging out. You kind of want it to be straight here, like kind of stretch like that. Yeah, you don't want to leave too much back here. Like this is more. This is just a perfect amount. Sometimes you'll see. You might even go in and tighten it to make it straight because you obviously don't want it to be all loopy and stuff. Yeah, you don't want it to be like a super big loop. Um, <laughs> this is just fast, guys. Uh, you know we don't edit our videos, so I'm not definitely not gonna two take this. Uh, this is going uh, well in the first one. Though I got, I got everything I really wanted to accomplish out of the way. Um, this thing is coming along nicely so far. Kind of taking a slow route with it. Uh, mostly because Marco is being a bitch and isn't breaking it in. Pretty sure he just switched cameras to the dog. But, um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I hope it was informative for you guys. Uh, we're going to be doing some different um, videos coming up soon, too. We had a flare glove. Um, probably is going to end up being on this one. Uh, this has a light thumb flare on it. Um, I don't go too heavy with my thumb. Uh, so that's going to probably be it. I'm definitely going to be going a little bit more with the... Uh, um, the thong, I mean the pinky. Um, so yeah, Marco will be, whenever I say I, when it comes to breaking it in, it's actually him. So the only thing he actually does for this channel is, uh, breaking our gloves. But, so we'll be doing, um, a tutorial on that, how to give it a nice flare. It's going to be a super fast video. It's not really a long process, how to give it a good flare. We're doing another video, uh, we'll be on, uh, this glove. Or actually, I think I'm going to do it on prime gloves, um. Wait, what? I wasn't paying attention. The, the thumb and the U-break-in. We're going to be doing it on the, the U-break-in. So, to break the glove in like this, how we break in all our gloves. Uh, there's two different types of ways to break in a glove. You break mm -hmm. it in with a single break point, or you break it in with a double break point. Uh, we both um, enjoy the double. Um, I do have, I do have, yeah, I do have one glove that is um, a single break-in, and that's my... Um, NP5 Adrian Beltre. So I could be, uh, I'll be talking about the single break point with that glove. Um, and they both feel comfortable, but the, the two just feels better to me. So uh, those videos will be coming up. Um, somebody asked for another Q&A. Uh, we could possibly do that. I feel like we answered a lot of questions and we don't really hide much. So uh, we'll be doing that. Skills videos will be coming up. So um, expect a lot from this channel coming up soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, and until next time, have a good day.